Greetings, everybody. Welcome back to AI War Fleet Command. We continue our struggle against the mighty, mighty homeworld of Coruscant and its core reactor grav post. We have rebuilt in Papagena. That is still going underway, which is why our metal is where it is. And we have headed to Umbriel. Why? Because that's where the latest hybrid is. Now, I prefer not to spend time on that, but it just so happens that it took some finagling to actually get me here in time. Facilities can be structured in two minutes or less. And one thing to notice, of course, is this is way away from course and lots of jumps in between here and there. So that part of it is a problem. Now, the armored golem and everything that was in Papagena, it left. It's floating around somewhere, and I think it's going to hit Neptune shortly. Because, again, opposite side of the galaxy, but we have to deal with this right now or it's not going to be solved before the facility goes up. And then it'll be a lot more painful to destroy it, and they'll be spamming their Gatlings at Radislava. We simply can't have that. And then we have other complications in here. We have a Dark Spire uh, Vengeance Generator, so that's going to be spewing out Dark Spire ships periodically. Already has a couple. We also have, over here, a Black Hole Machine. On the opposite side of a modular command station. So this is just, this is not at all an optimal situation. In order to do this, I've, I've got to go around this wonderful, wonderful thing and kind of try to sneak around there and hit it. So onward we go. And of course they've got all of their wonderful ships coming after me, including the super hybrid. But I've got to stay on the very edge of the system because that's the only way I can avoid at least most of the fire from the fortress. Come on, we keep moving. Keep moving. Okay, there's one of those. That's fine. Take that out. There's another lovely five AI progress going to come our way. And now we come back this way through all this mess and eventually take out this hybrid. All the while, time is tick-tock, tick-tock, ticking away. Time that we don't really have but are forced to spend regardless. And I just sort of want to keep, yeah, let the Dark Spire distract everybody, that's fine. I want to keep heading back this way. Oh, come on, take out the hybrid. Yeah, just kill that, I don't care about anything else. Okay, so now the super hybrid is gone, and we want to get out of here, back to Ouija Man, heal up, and then get moving again. Meanwhile, the armored golem and friends had come into Neptune, and our beachhead was having itself a time. No problem really with the rest of it. We've still got this, you know, implosion artillery doing various things, but the armored golem was the main difficulty here. We were doing okay for the most part at keeping up with some of the damage, but I was not sure if we were going to survive this, and I couldn't spend too much time, and you can see it just it blows stuff up pretty effectively. Couldn't spend too much time in here because I'm working on getting the fleet up this way. Uh, but yeah, having all kinds of fun in here. Thankfully, most of it gone except for the big guns, but the big guns are indeed very, very big. And the cavalry arrives finally to save the day and knock out our lovely armored golem. Eventually, because this thing can take a pounding. And I don't mean maybe. Yay! Now, just a couple problems. One, we've got an attack coming in seven minutes. Two, we're out of metal. That could be an issue. Okay, so we're out of time. We are out of metal. Uh, we don't quite have the whole fleet, but we've got most of it. 90 plus percent. It's just trying to repair various things here. Let's assume for the moment that we don't care about the 4,000 ships coming in a CPA or the exogalactic attack that's coming five minutes before that. The next round of it, which is probably going to have like 10, 12 golems or something stupid. Let's just do a test here. Let's pop into Coruscant and see how much our combined fleet could destroy. Okay, so here we're coming in, and what would be the best thing we could do? Well, obviously it's going to be to get out of range of everything bad. 
And, you know, I think that's significant, but it's not, you know, it's not that horrible. I think we're just going to head straight over here. And look at all this. It was hiding out by that corner. Now, of course, we could say, oh, you should just run down here. we got to see if we can kill their ships that are in here, first of all. So let's do, let's do, let's just take that one step at a time. If we came out this way, we're going to continue to just send all of our ships here. And they're deploying, deploying. You see all their drones coming up from the south, so we never get there anyway. Yeah, they're slowing everything down to a crawl. So let's just unload everything. We. Eighteen hundred going down. Now, of course, we're going to have a stupid high reprisal, but that's for another time. Okay, so we're going to get it down to about 1,500 here. We're almost all dead now. So let's assume, I mean, if we could do that, forget about the reprisal warning level 5, get something akin to that, it would take at least a couple more groups like this to come in here. These attacks are going to keep coming and coming. There is no way that I would ever wear this down enough in time before I got absolutely smashed to smithereens by their exo attacks. That's rather self-evident. You know, the next Nemesis exo will probably have 80 some shadow frigates or something ridiculous. So at this point, I'm calling it. I submit, I've defeated by Coruscant and the core reactor grav post. And let's just, uh, you know, commit honorable suicide. It won't actually let me destroy my Home command station. And won't let me kill suicide. Whatever. The point is, we were going to get annihilated here anyway. So what to say about this game? Well, I think I definitely learned the value of raiding and being super careful with the AI. You know, knocking out the hybrid support structures is big. Obviously, when playing against them, when playing against Special Forces Captain AI, knocking out their Special Forces Guard posts, all of that worked well. The Champion Nebula campaign was interesting. Uh, you know, different ships for different scenarios, fighting that one big ship with a bunch of bombers, and eventually getting the heavy beam cannon. Still would have preferred the photon cannon. Kind of sad that I didn't get that. Learned about the modular command station, did a better version of the super terminal hack. But the bottom line is, I need something better, something different, obviously, to handle this sucker. So the core reactor grav post is the singular reason why this game is a defeat and not a victory. So moving on, what's next? Well, there are still two more alternate win conditions that are available within the AI War universe. We've got two more expansions to go with those. So we'll be starting up with the fifth expansion next, and of course, game after that will be the sixth. And I've decided I'm going to cycle back the difficulty just a bit to 8.0, because the main thing I want to do in these next couple games is demonstrate things that will come about in those and I don't want to have to you know restart or anything because I think we're getting up to the point now where it's pretty clear as I was careful with a lot of stuff here I'm sure there's things I could have done better but it's clear somewhere between eight and nine is the proper difficulty for me on this game and that's that, that's fairly high so I you know I'm not embarrassed by that at all but I think there's something important to be said about just being able to get through. I want to have a chance to actually defeat the special win conditions in the ne next couple of expansions. And if I keep cycling up the difficulty, I don't think that that's realistic. So uh, we did get one more achievement here that I want to note. And it was simply for how long I played. Persistent 24 hour campaign. The epic struggle one, I hope I never get to that. But we shall see. So that's all for now. New game of AI World will be coming up next with the next expansion. Till then, thanks for watching. The journey will continue.